Hi, I am Diego Bravo Real Estate Agent in the beautiful city of Ocala, Florida. Come with us to a one day trip from Ocala to Ormond Beach and Daytona Beach on a beautiful sunny day. From Ocala's downtown, Ormond Beach is the closest beach on Florida's Atlantic coast. Driving east on Highway 40, it takes about 1 hour and 20 minutes to get to Ormond Beach, located in Volusia County. A few minutes after having left Ocala, we encountered the impressive Ocala National Forest, a fully functional ecosystem that extends 673 square miles. Within the forest, there are springs, hundreds of ponds and lakes, including the enormous Lake George that has waves. After driving about 40 miles from Ocala's downtown, we found St. John's River, the longest river in the state of Florida. It has 310 miles long and flows north towards Jacksonville on the Atlantic coast. It is used for commercial and recreational purposes. Still driving on Highway 40, we are entering Ormond Beach city limit. Ormond Beach is a very touristic city with an estimated population of 43,000 inhabitants in 2020. This bridge crosses the Halifax River, which is about 25 miles long and makes part of the Atlantic Intracoastal Waterway. Now in front of us, the beautiful beaches at Ormond Beach. Instead of staying at this beach, we decided to drive to Tomoka State Park, located north of Highway 40. Tomoka State Park, established in 1945, has about 2,000 acres. The access fee per vehicle is $5. The Timucuans, a Native American tribe, used to dwell in this area living of fishing. Today, the various water bodies are popular for kayaking, canoeing, boating, and fishing. In the park, there are also trails for walking, running, biking, and viewing wildlife, as well as the option of camping. From Ormond Beach, we are now on the way to Daytona Beach, Driving on South Atlantic Avenue, it takes about 30 minutes. The estimated population of Daytona Beach in 2020 was 68,000 inhabitants. This is a very active city that is well known for their beaches and excellent hotel and restaurant infrastructure. Now we are crossing Halifax River to the west. Once a year, the Daytona Beach Bike Week is a legendary 10-day filled with festivals, concerts, bike shows, and street parties. 2022 was the 81st version of this event. Likewise, the Biketoberfest is a four-day rally that attracts about 100,000 motorcycle enthusiasts during the fall each year. They come to enjoy the fabulous Florida weather, live music, and motorcycle racing at the Daytona International Speedway. The NASCAR races are also held here. Daytona Lagoon is a famous water park that also offers other fun activities such as bumper cars, laser tag, go-karts, and miniature golf. One of my favorite things about Daytona Beach and a few more areas on the Florida's Atlantic coast is that you can enter your vehicle to the beach by paying a low access fee. Here you have direct access to everything you carry in your car, food and drinks, your umbrella or another type of sunshades, chairs, games, towels, etc. Here the waves are high and strong as in most beaches of the Atlantic coast. You can enjoy swimming, playing with the waves, or surfing. Today has
has been a great day of adventures. We hope you have enjoyed coming with us. Now we are on the way back to our home in Ocala, driving west on Highway 40. I will see you in our next trip to another beautiful place in Ocala and its surroundings.